Alright guys, so I just want to do a quick uh, gardening update video. Uh, today I picked up some uh, green bell pepper plants and what I wanted to show you guys um, at the store because it's early in the season, uh, the ones that were in the half quart pots, uh, they were actually about the same height as these. So in order to save money, uh, it was $3.98 for these or it was $3.98 for one plant in the half quart, I believe it is, size, uh, but they were the same height plants, so it's pointless to buy, uh, you know, one of them when I could get six for the same price. So, uh, anyway, it's a bell pepper, it's something we're going to eat a lot, and they did really well in the pots last year, so I don't mind buying six of them. So what I did, at Walmart, they had these for 97 cents, and what I'm going to do is, uh, go ahead and they didn't come with any kind of hole in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a few small holes uh, Gotta have drain holes in them or they're gonna drown So the reason I chose to put them in this size pot uh, Some of them I will eventually put in larger pots a few of them I will probably put in the ground. Like I said, they produced so many peppers last year putting them in pots. Uh, I may go mostly that direction. But for now, I'm going to put them in these smaller pots. Uh, and these are actually uh, six inch planter pots. If I had to guess, uh, probably two quarts. Um, but anyway, the reason I chose to do this is because it's February 28th. Uh, but it can freeze all the way up until around Good Friday. So we still got several more weeks that it could freeze. So I'm going to put them in these smaller pots in case I have to go in the, in the garage with them overnight or whatever. But this will get me to a head start on my pepper plants. So what I'll do is I'll fill each one of these. probably about halfway full of soil. And I'll just show you about, about halfway full of soil. Okay, so after I fill them halfway full of soil, I just uh, take a pair of scissors and just cut in each one of these six. So it makes it easier to tear them open. And then once I tear them open, and these were pretty dry, so um, let's see if I can get you over here. So once I tear them open like this, and I gotta do this one-handed so it's tough, but I got it filled about halfway full of soil, and then I'll just go ahead and pack around it the rest of the way. I'm gonna make a mess here doing it one-handed but basically you want it to look like that when you're done so I'll go ahead and do that to uh, all six of them and I'll get back with you in a second all right so I have all these six that I bought today potted uh, in these two quart pots and uh, now I'm gonna show you what I do after I get them started in the pots so um, I got this stuff at Crazy Cows Boys, but I'd used it before then. But this is 054. So it has 5% uh, uh, phosphorus and 4% potassium. And so the reason I'm using that and not a lot of nitrogen is because you want to get these roots established. You want to get the immune system of the plant built up. You don't want it to necessarily take off and grow just yet. Uh, but I am going to add this. Uh, 501 so it will get a little bit of nitrogen but the main reason I'm adding this is because of the micronutrients uh, it has uh, boron calcium uh, iron copper manganese uh, molybdenum zinc different stuff like that and so that'll give it uh, the minerals it needs to get a boost from the start so I'll put I have a gallon of rainwater and a gallon of regular water I would have used two gallons of uh, rainwater if I had that much but I'll put probably two tablespoons 
you don't have to be very precise because this is organic and it's not super uh, super potent and then I'll put this uh, 054 in here uh, it's called a floral boom because the the phosphorus that middle number is normally used for the bloom uh, but it also helps with root growth so we're gonna add that in to start with we're gonna mix that really well and like I said I got this stuff at crazy Caz boys for like $2 uh, for each container and luckily I found all three of those but they're normally like 15 to 20 bucks um, if you go and buy them so I got a still on those so uh, anyway it looks about like this after it's mixed and I'm just gonna go ahead and add and like I said I've drilled holes in all of these uh, go ahead and straighten this little guy up but this should give them a nice little boost to get going get this nice potting soil wet and like I said it's half rainwater anyway so but this ought to give them a nice boost to start so we'll just water the rest of this out reason I say to buy these six packs is it's the same price as the ones in the one quart except for obviously you get six instead of one plant and if you like a certain thing like uh, jalapenos bell peppers uh, stuff like that that we're gonna eat a lot of I'll go ahead and uh, buy a six pack of them that way it saves the money but anyway that's just a tip because in in three weeks three or four weeks it's gonna be the same size if you would have bought them in the quart pot anyway all right, so I'm gonna let these plants sit here and finish draining out. But like I said, uh, when it gets cold, when it gets below 40 degrees, now I'm able to bring these in the garage and they don't take up a lot of room. So that's something important to note on that. It gets me an early start on the season. Uh, it lets me get started before, you know, while we still may have some frost for the next uh, maybe five or six weeks potentially, it lets me get these peppers and tomatoes into the ground and not have to worry about frost or I should say into a pot not the actual ground because if you put them in the ground and then you get a hard freeze then you're in trouble but anyway it'll get me a head start on the season it'll let me get my peppers and tomatoes started about four or five weeks earlier I don't have to worry about them freezing I can bring them in the garage anyway that's what I wanted to share with you guys today and uh, let you know kind of about my different fertilizers that I got a steal on from Crazy Cas Boys. Check them out if you guys have one around. When I start getting a lot of tomatoes and stuff, I'll go to a granular type fertilizer because uh, it's a little bit more cost effective. But I try to stay as organic as possible because if not, you might as well buy them from the store, right? Might as well do it right or not do it at all. Anyway, I just want to share this with you guys. I appreciate you joining me today. And I am out of here.